You resident e <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. This was my uh, surprise, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't something I expected to be doing, but I'm going to be doing it. Now, what I did was, um, I was actually really, I was really interested in the differences between the Resident Evil 4 versions. I was like, well, if I stream Resident Evil 4, what's the best version? And then I saw a video for this thing called the HD Project, which is a fan retexture. Not just a retexture, but an entire upgrade of the visuals. It's incredible looking. I really hope this works. I mean, I tested it out. It looks great. And uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I, I own it now three times, and I've completed it probably like four or five. Um, really excited to uh, bring this to the stream. Considering all the stuff I've been playing lately, this one is perfect. So, I am I'm excited to, uh, to bring this to you tonight. And I'm here a little early because I have to get up early tomorrow, and uh, only one game tonight. So, let's, uh, let's do this. Okay, so... Resident Evil 4! Oh shit, subtitles aren't on, I don't think. 1998. I'll never forget it. Well, this is a subtitle, I it guess. Was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling hey, in like, very Hey, in like eight months, seven months, we're gonna get a prequel to this. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. So, I'm gonna miss this Leon voice. I don't think the Resident Evil 2 remake has the same voice actor. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. But yeah, this is based on the Steam version, so you'll start to see some upgrades. Um, let me know if the volume's okay. A secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corny. Why am I the one who always gets me short in with a stick? Yo, who are you really? Who are you? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout. Oh, the one-liners. Oh, I love then Leon's one-liners. Maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Okay, so, um, people are saying there's no subtitles in this game. Let me see if the HD version actually has them. You'll notice the improvements already. Um, they meticulously, they meticulously added detail and took pictures of real locations, right real textures. Take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. Upgraded models. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. So cold. 
They went to Spain to picture the churches for the designs that inspired the gates. That's cool. Sorry it took so long. Is this a full playthrough? Yes. I'm almost done with Mario and Rabbids. Um, Donkey Kong. I'm almost done with Hollow Knight, kind of. So I figured, um, this is gonna be my next main game I'm gonna transition into. Now, here's the thing. We'll resume regular streaming schedules tomorrow. And, uh, I'll get to Dong expansion. And also, Galgun will be this week. Beverly Hills Cop will be next week. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you no. say something? <laughs> so, this takes a lot of inspiration from Metal Gear Solid. Hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. As you can see. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little Which I'll older. be streaming soon. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. All right. Now, um, I'm actually in game. I'm going to fuck around with some settings real quick so I can I can see what's going on here. Um, there may not be subtitles. Subtitle. Why is the subtitles? <laughs> um, I don't seem to have. You have to go to the main menu. You have to change it from title screen. Okay, okay. Um, how do I get back to the title screen? That's that's the other question I have. Oh, okay. That's hidden in there. All right, we can skip the cutscenes. So that's uh, that's good. So now I know there's subtitles. That that's. Very useful. I was told there weren't any, and I was I was a little upset about that. Um, I, I think we need a little bit more volume. So let me quit out of this real quick. Sorry. Let's just break all that immersion. And, uh... Okay, so... W we've got some stuff to talk about, like charity stream stuff. Um, Resident Evil stuff. Let me hop into the game a little bit first before we, we begin talking about that, so... Okay, so vi uh, violins, volume—that's that word—has been increased. Still no subtitles. Subtitles are not available for the English version of the game. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah. All right. Resident Evil 4. Well, that's lame. This is so lame. I, I maybe the um the HD project team can uh, get on get on that. Okay, this is this is a weird thing here. So, uh knife is L, R is Hang on. Okay, so uh, I'm using a controller because the mouse and keyboard controls for this are hot garbage. But doesn't this look great already? Man, like the previous version I played was the Wii version. I have not played a version of this game with this resolution. Um, the textures were acidified and blurry. Did I already miss, um, did I already miss a coin? Vinny, why are you early today? Uh, I have, um, I have to get up early tomorrow for a family thing. Not that way, cowboy. I think everything's gonna be okay. Um, so no late stream today. It's gonna be a little shorter, and I'm gonna, uh, cover the art a little bit later. Like, there's a lot of charity art, so expect a very large art corner stream. But, just this game today, I saw this 
and I got really excited about it. This is a 20 something gig file that you have to put into the Steam version of Resident Evil. And, uh, wow, that Le Leon's arms are now just gone. So this is a huge, like, right here, look at that. That texture, you may not think twice about it, but that is crusty as fuck on the previous versions. Let me just make sure I know how to play the game. Okay, this is aim. Uh, yep, okay, we're good. Weird subtitles, like just thoughts are subtitled. Codec Excuse conversations. Me. Sir? Wait, this isn't the full release? This is. It came out July 12th. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Or July something. Sorry to have bothered you. Oh, it's not finished yet. Okay. <laughs> Characters are still unfinished and freeze. some guns. That's fine. I can deal with that. I said freeze! I love the combat system in this game so much. This game, if you've never seen this before, if you've never played it, it's the perfect mix of campy... Um... Like... Somewhat survival Is horror, okay? but also, like, serious, local. but mostly no campy. But neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Yeah, it's it's a really great game. I mean, this is before Resident Evil went off the rails with Resident Evil 5 and 6. And, um, it's also post-Tank Controls Resident Evil. So there's a lot... There's a lot of good here. Um, I think this is... Something I'm gonna have to get used to is you can't move and shoot at the same time in this game, which they implemented later on. Jesus. Again, visual upgrades all over the place. He's not a zombie. Oh yeah, Leon can do this no problem. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. The action is so good. So, luckily the fucking enemies come at you pretty slowly. To the point where you, you're able to, um... Even though you can't move and shoot, you can still take your time to aim for body parts and shit. So... Yeah. So I don't mind so much. Okay, so map. Um, I've streamed this game years ago. I think the last version of it I streamed was the Wii version. Wrong button. Okay, that's reload. Okay. Um, so yeah, I played the Wii version. Which is good. The aiming is probably the best of any of the versions. Um, visually, it's too close to the GameCube version. So while I was considering streaming the Wii version, you know I'm not really into motion controls too much. And... When I saw that this was available, I was floored. If this version didn't exist, if the HD project didn't exist, and I hadn't, like, discovered it incidentally, I would not be streaming Resident Evil 4 right now. Someone said, doesn't look that HD. Have you, um... Alright, 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 alright. Ah, oh, come on, give me Alt-Tab. Alright, here's, here's my mouse, okay. It's more HD 
than the previous versions for sure. Okay. Um, but let me show you this thing because I think this will kind of put things into perspective a little bit. Here. Check this out. Not bad. I saw this trailer and I was like, oh, fuck, yes. It's that part right there in particular. I was like, wine bottles? Awesome. Um, I'll tell you how I found this too. It was an accident. I was watching Super Bunny Hop's video on Resident Evil 4, which then led me into a video of comparisons between all the versions. The GameCube, the Wii version, the um, PC version, and I was looking to see, like, if I stream this, what would be the best way to do it? And then the next video was Wait. this trailer. So, YouTube algorithm actually did something right for once. I remember how much this game blew me away when I played the... Uh, there was a demo of just this part, I think, on the GameCube. Leon, you got some fucking crusty aim, my my man. Oh shit, dog friend. Go, be free. Leon, Charlotte! Leon, Charlotte! So, yeah, charity stream went well. Uh, we, we hit some higher numbers... ...late. We, we, we almost hit 130. 130k. So... ...holy crap. The combined total... ...I'm not gonna make my estimates yet. I'm not going to tell you where we're potentially at, but let's just say, yeah, we demolished last year's amount, and I just want to, once again, as if you have, haven't heard me say this enough, thank you to everybody that participated in this charity stream. Hootie and all of the volunteers are very happy. We, we raised a lot of money for charity, so thank you. It was a lot of fun. Though, I considered taking a break today. I was like, you know what, maybe I could use some time off. <laughs> eh, I'll take a day off another time. I can... I got Resident Evil 4 to play. Why would I want to take a day off? Not yet. Not yet. This was one of the few games where I completed it and started a new game right away. Isn't that lovely? This right here? That's nice. <laughs> Get used to the aiming. It's reversed. So down is up, up is up. 
No, no. Up is down. Up is up. Down is down. Which inversion with controller is something I've been doing for years. I can mouse and keyboard. Um, all right. Let me explain. I usually invert so that, like, picture you have your hand on Leon's head and you push his head forward and he looks down. You pull his head back, he looks up. D do you understand? No? Okay, well, let me explain it. I'm very silly. I'm a silly, silly cunt. So, I've been inverting controls for a long time because of flight games in particular. And, um... Now, with mouse and keyboard, I don't invert anymore, so now I have to just get used to controller non-inversion. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, Leon is sent to this town in Spain to investigate, and, um... I don't know why they chose Leon. Maybe just the Raccoon City deal. I was like, yeah, this dude's qualified. Also, I never played Resident Evil 2 beyond a couple of segments, and I'm really disappointed in myself. But the good news is, we have a remake that's going to be like this. Starring... a very young Leon. I can't wait. I know. I know. I barely played Resident Evil 2. It's disappointing. Can't wait. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. That's sass. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Okay. That's cool. Did you ever play the Resident Evil 1 remake? I did. Not all of it, because I, I got very, um... I got very disillusioned by the tank controls. But I, I played that and Resident Evil Zero. I'm a latecomer to the series. But I've played, uh, four, five, six, seven Revelations. Um, I feel like there's another one in there, like a side story. I played... One remake, Resident Evil Zero. So I missed two, three Nemesis, uh, Code Veronica. So I missed a lot of the tanky ones. Vinny, will you be doing a full playthrough? You bet. You you bet your goddamn ass. This is a full playthrough. Okay, so now this is the part of the game where Resident Evil Four Biohazard Four has stopped working. All right, well... Well... Steam must be running to play this game. It is. All right, good night, everybody. Did you apply the 4 gigabyte patch? I did. I did. I don't know if I ran the 4 gigabyte gigabyte version. Well, wait a minute. If you run through Steam, doesn't that just automatically play the game, the the EXE? Steam must be running to play this game. No. Okay, well hang on a minute. I did apply the do not crash patch. But it says now Steam must be running to play this game. I restarted Steam, and it's still not running. Kill Steam service.exe. Okay. Um, I think I know why it crashed. So there's a patch specifically for removing crashes, and you have to apply a patch to the exe, which I did, and then ran it through Steam. So I'm assuming what happened was. I ran the crashy version by accident. And if we're lucky, that'll never happen again. And if we're unlucky, 
then love is over and vine sauce is canceled for the next 10 years. Let me try running steam again. All for better graphics. You're damn right. That's the thing. Like when I stream these games, I like to have something. I like to have something a little bit different that I can bring to the table. I want to experience the game in a different way. You know, I like the idea of being able to play. I like the idea of being able to play a game with like better resolution, better frame rates, like Mario Sunshine. When it finally worked, it looked fucking amazing. It was so good. When Prime 2 worked, it looked great. So, it's worth the initial, I think it's worth the initial struggle of me trying to get this thing to work early on. Um, in order to have a really cool, unique experience later. That's my opinion. Maybe you'll disagree, and that's fine. But um, I still can't load this thing. I wonder if I should restart my computer. The one that you launched through Steam should work. Well, it just crashed, so I don't know about how much that would work. Someone says, fuck, you've been unbearable lately, Vinny. All right, well then, uh, this is a dude who wrote in the chat, hello, Vinny, this is future Vinny. Stop now and go masturbate. That's, um, that's their message three times in a row before, fuck, you've been unbearable lately. It's good. Good, uh, good chat member. Good to have you here. Pleased. Pleased to have you here. Uh, also, goodbye. All right, so let's try again. They released a version on 720 that fixed some issues. Yeah. Evil H. Hang on a minute. Let me just check. Yeah, I got the, um,. I got the most recent one. Like I said, I tested this earlier. It worked. So it's just how the fuck. How do you know? Download the patch. Oh, you know what? No. No, I didn't. It says, um. Download release patch. Here, let me take care of that. Okay, so, uh. This is unbearable. That dude was right. Dude was just straight up garbage, but he was right. So give me a minute. And let me patch this thing. Okay. So release patch. Make sure, release. Yep, this is definitely the patch that I did not install. My bad. Release patch. Okay, run. Um, install corrected motion blur. Sure, even though I'm not going to use motion blur. Flawless widescreen mode? Yes, please. I don't know what that means, but I want flawless anything. Please, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're patched. I think today is going to be a litmus test. And if this doesn't like work today, if it crashes a lot today, then I, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to contact the developers or maybe... Maybe think about trying something different. 
Ooh, stopped working immediately. That's an immediate crash. It's disappointing. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do one of these cool graphic streams where, you know, things are upgraded without some kind of bullshit. Um, let, me, let me try full screen and see if that does anything. Get that flawless widescreen. Alright. So, if I have to do full screen, that's fine. It's, uh... It's just fine. Leon, is, th is there anything you can do to straighten your shit out? Because, holy fuck, your aiming is shaky. Alright. Disable table input service? What does that do? Tablet input service? And that might affect Resident Evil 4? Can cause random fuck ups in this game. Hell, you know what? I am taking that advice. Let's see, tablet. Uh, I don't have that service. Leon, why'd you get so, uh, slim? Oh god, this is a fucking mess! Oh dear fucking god. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating, so won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Yeah, give me that, give me that resolution. Do that resolution thing. Yeah. Yeah. Flawless widescreen. Got a double tap in case snacks are in the boxes. You're gonna be seeing me aim up a lot when I should be aiming down. Unbearable, flawless widescreen. Perfect. Well, they know I'm here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to that same spot that I was at earlier. Oh, you fuck. Yeah, these early dudes are extremely, extremely slow. I mean, it's not gonna stop them from killing me, but...
Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to... Okay, so we'll do this again, and then I'm gonna go the exact same area that I was at before and see what happens. Um, yeah, I don't know. If it crashes again at the same spot, then I'm gonna be at a loss for words. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say, Mierda! Here we fucking go. Let's see what happens. Okay, how'd you get up there? Hip fastening. It's kind of amazing how early this game throws everything at you. No! Ah! Goodbye, head. thing here. I should probably uh, take a look at this. What seems to be food has started to rot, but no one has bothered to throw it away. This is scum voulage. So, uh, there's a shotgun somewhere around here. I, I gotta find it. I gotta find it before the game crashes. Why are these people? What are they planning? Chainsaw. Which is, again, the fact that you can actually start this game and within 10 minutes, there's an enemy that can insta-kill you. Just shows up. It's like, what? Son of Here it is. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that exactly. I mean, that's fine, but... Whoa, nice miss. I still love the combat in this game. Yeah! That's priority. Chainsaw dude, priority. Now, no, 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 Leon, now's not the time. Oh, fuck off. Oh, oh kicked him against the wall. Ah, 
church. They're very holy people. What a start to a video game. What a fucking start. What the hell? Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Thanks. Good shit, Hunnigan. Good shit. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but it's working now. And I'm very pleased about that because you know what? This looks awesome for Resident Evil 4. I mean, not by, like, today's standards, but by Resident Evil 4 standards, this looks... Yo, it looks sick. So, man, I really hope... Oh, my... my dishes are done. I really, really hope this continues to work, because I'm, I'm starting to get back into this game. You can knife the lock, right? They sold this jacket for a while. Like you could buy Leon's jacket. Which is almost as cool as the Blade Runner jacket that Ryan Gosling wore. Almost. I mean, what are you even eating? Scum? You can still buy it for 140 bucks on Amazon. What, Leon's jacket? It does look cool. God. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We're done with the stream for today, but I hope you enjoyed it. That was a lot of ammo. That was a lot of ammo. How do I even get in here? Wasn't even worth it. Sometimes you get an egg, and sometimes you get a golden egg. So, obviously, they're all at mass because they're very pious. They give tithings to the Church of Satan, or whatever they're worshipping. We'll find out later in the game. But, until then, I'm just going to loot the remainder of this town because um, a little birdie told me that there's some, some good stuff hiding in town. Vinny, they find the blue metal? I don't remember where it is. Is there one here? In that house? No, no, the, the metals haven't shown up yet. Um, there's a dude that introduces the metal system a little later. If I remember correctly. Green Needle. Yeah, the medals aren't until later, and if... I think you get a weapon 
for getting all the metals. The chimney on the roof of the shotgun building. Oh, you can eat a fat cock! I don't know. I don't know what to do. Tablet services. I checked services. They're not in there. Uh, services. Yeah, there's no tablet stuff here. I don't know. If you're on Windows 10, there's a tablet service. Okay, so help me find it then. What's this here? Not gonna lie, I gave up on the PC version and just emulated it on Dolphin. I suggest you do the same. Um, okay, so control panel. Gotta figure something out. Okay, so what am I looking for? I don't have the word tablet anywhere over here. And so... You know. Task managers and type... Um, okay, so let's try that. Vappy, please cut everything. Touch keyboard and handwriting panel service. Okay, hang on a minute. That I see. That I see. Okay, so, end task. Just get rid of it. Don't need it, get rid of it. Okay. Put the past on. Your touch screen may result in it turning back on. Um... Oh, you know what? My second monitor is a touchscreen. Here's the thing. Yep, my touchscreen has returned. So what? What do I do now? How do I totally disable touchscreen? Yep, here it is again. You sly son of a bitch. This might be. This might be everything. So I'm gonna open services and I'm gonna try this again. It, let's give this a shot since a lot of people are saying this is the solution. And uh, if this doesn't work, then I don't know. We'll just we'll just sit here. We'll eat pants. You might have to go into your services list to completely disable it. Okay, so we're gonna stop the service. All right, service has been stopped, and I'm going to. I, I never use the touch screen on this thing too. It's so inconvenient. All right, now I will touch the screen, and it's back on. Like, the touchscreen works on my second monitor still, so what What now? <laughs> I love technical support streams. Let's see, right-click properties, and uh, service stopped. Um, uh, startup disabled. Apply. Disabled, let's see. Yeah, the touchscreen's still working. Property 
disable restart. So I have to restart my computer. Device manager. I'm, I thank you for the help, by the way. I know this is a horrendously boring stream. I know it's unbearable. <laughs> please, please bear with me. That's all I'm asking. Under the details tab, stop tab tip if you have it. I don't. Tab tip, I do not have. But even though it's disabled, I can still use the touch screen. Uh, yeah, it's, it's disabled, totally. Nope, now it's back. What the fuck? Why is it back? Startup type disabled. Service stopped. And yet... The hand recognize, recognition shit is what you want to turn off. Okay. Let's see. Pretty sure fully disabled touchscreen, you need to go into device manager. Alright, so I'm going to do a restart. Sorry, everybody. We'll try one more time. And then I might just stream something else for a little while. Like, I'm not here for the whole night. I'm only here for a little while because I have to be up disgustingly early tomorrow. And, um, you know, what can I say? Consider it like a bonus stream. Oh, tab tip is here. Oh, here it is. Fuck you. Tab tip 32. Hang on a minute. It's under details. Let me get rid of this thing. Let me see if I can turn this off completely. End process. End process. Touch screen. Still on. Uh, the touch screen is on. I think it's working as a mouse. The touch screen can still work when the service is off. The service is for pen input and virtual keyboard. Very good help. Chat, you guys are amazing. Thank you for this tech support. I'm going to do a quick restart. I'm going to make sure these things are totally disabled. I will be back with Resident Evil 4. And uh, we'll see what this... What's this? You don't have to restart. Open device manager. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Device manager. Okay. Let's see. So, uh... Human interface. What's a human inter? What's a human? Okay. HID compliant touchscreen. Disable. Yes, disable. Touchscreen has been totally disabled. All the services are now gone. They've been tossed. They've been removed. They've been washed and sterilized. And I think now, let me go into task manager. I'm not going to do the restart because I'm going to be stubborn and I'm just going to start up the game. Let's just make sure. Okay. All touchscreen and tablet related devices have been fucking burned like a lesion. Why do you have a tablet as your second monitor anyway? <laughs> Funny story, so I got this monitor at Micro Center because it's the only monitor that was small enough to fit on my desk. I needed a really small one. And the dude was like, well, it's also a touchscreen. I'm like, okay, am I going to use the touchscreen? He's like, yeah, he'll use it. I've used it three times. Once for the Tingle game while I was streaming that. And that was the main... If it weren't for the touchscreen during Tangle, maybe I wouldn't have finished it in time. So it saved my ass. So that is the only real main use. The other use was like to try drawing and that didn't work because again, it's a monitor at a 90 degree angle and it's not really that, like it's, it's not pressure sensitive. It's just a touchscreen. So it's not a tablet. It's just a touchscreen enabled monitor. So that's the third time we've saved this dog, but if you're a viewer on the Full Sauce channel, that's the first time I've saved the dog. 
Thank you, Vappy, for cutting so graciously. Vappy giveth and Vappy taketh away. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm not angry at technology. And uh, I've been watching Man in the High Castle, which I mentioned last week. I'm on season two. And uh, it's a show that I, I think started out a lot better than it ended up. Some of these characters are painfully dumb. It's a, it's a pretty cool show, even like in halfway through season two. But I find the main characters, like the, um, not like the generals or the, or, uh, Smith or any of those guys. I'm talking mainly like just the main characters. They are so dumb. And their storylines are so boring. I didn't read the book. I, I'm a fan of the author, but I did not read the book. So I couldn't tell you how it compares. I just know that it's still got some cool stuff. There's some good, like, uh, alternate dimension stuff. There's some, like, good political intrigue. There's interesting writing. But then they keep going back to these, like... Like, there's a, a love plot that I just got to between two characters that I've never felt a love story or a sex story or whatever feel so forced. It was so... It was like Anakin and Amidala. Leon, you, you got a strong arm. All right. So, sadly, I have to do this again. But, you know, I got this. Egg. Egg. Okay. Sorry about the, um, rapid turning. Why are these people? Man, I really hope this works. Or I really, really hope it doesn't crash again. Is there a typewriter in this town that I can get to as soon as the sequence is over? Where, where is that? I need to, uh, I need to get to that. Just past the tower? Okay, so I'm gonna probably get to that before I do the town looting. Lady Meat. Again, now you know what has to be done. Whoa, got him. 
tried to do the kick. Couldn't get close enough. Or I didn't stagger. Oh, Leon! Jesus. Gotta run. Gotta run. I'd love to stay, but I got a jet. Did that dude just say Louis Vuitton? Item. Is this a spinal? Yeah. It's hard to know exactly when to, uh, kick! I probably need to, uh, I probably need to heal up. save just in case you know if there's progress lost then at the very least I'll be able to uh, never have to do the sequence again I mean if I have to revert to a different version sure I mean I'll do it because I really want to play the game uh, where's that damn typewriter You skipped the bingo? Oh. Um, it would happen before? Is the answer? Okay, now here's the blue. Let's see. Typewriter? Yes. Okay, save. Alright, so, you know, we lost progress. It sucks. But I'm hoping that turning off touch screen input because, you know, again, they this developer, um, they released patches. You know, like, they're trying to make this thing as stable as possible. Dirty pearl pendant. There we go. Vinny, you soiled it. Wait, isn't isn't there a way to wait a minute, isn't isn't there a way to um clean the pendant? I think it saves uh it's worth less. It sells for less. That's the that's the thing. There it is. There it is. That was a literal soil. Te voy a hacer picadillo. Oh my god, Leon, please. Also, hi, Hootie. Hootie, we did some good work over the weekend. About the blue medallions, 15 blue medallions, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more, you will be awarded. The rest is illegible. So, just a little bonus thing to keep you busy.
Man, the atmosphere in this game is still on point. Fuck, where'd you come from? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, you got this? You got you, you got it. Took a minute. I told you about that atmosphere. I go back and loot the town? I didn't really do a great job looting, right? Or... What do you think? Yeah, I might go back and loot the town. People seem to think it's a good idea. I do too. Man, I forgot how fucking shaky Leon is. Maybe it's the increased resolution? But, Leon might need some of that stuff that Snake has when he fights Sniper Wolf. You know what's cool about this? You don't need a ribbon for the saving. You can just save. Um, for anyone who's just joining, welcome to Resident Evil 4. We had a couple hitches. You know, there was some crashing. I, I, man, I really hope it doesn't crash again. But this is the HD project, which is made by a bunch of fans who actually retextured most of the, of the game. Upped the, um, model count, like the, um, polygons and the models, like, increased a number of different things that looked kind of poopy. And... Essentially creating a version of Resident Evil 4 that looks good in 1080p, so... This was done by only two people. Are you serious? This is only two people did the whole game? That's crazy. This is the PC version. This is the Steam version. The quote-unquote HD version, which it's kind of not. Um, so... Yeah, so this- this can be done. So I actually own this game three times now. GameCube, Wii, and this version. How do you get this version? Type HD Project, Resident Evil 4, and there's instructions. This has been in the works for like five years. It's that long? Well, again, a lot of these textures are actually photographs, like the same um, techniques that Capcom did. And um, I'm sure they took artistic liberty with a number of, uh, of other textures and things just to keep kind of consistent with the, the tone and visual style of the game. So I'm pretty happy with the work they did. It's amazing. I just wish it was fucking stable. Okay, can't get in there. They found the sources? Explain? They're photographs of the exact same locations the original dev team used based... ...as base for their textures. No shit! some ammo over there. I guess they went to Spain. Yeah, that's one of the things I learned. But I didn't know they did that for that many of the textures. I had no idea they put this much work into it. Well, can I get behind there? Oh, here it is. Okay. One of the two guys lives in Spain. Most were the... Most of the textures were sampled from. Oh, okay, I see. Sorry, I can't read today.
Did you know that if you try to read too quickly, you start skipping over words and getting other words wrong? But if you slow yourself down and you read, it's not so bad. Crazy, right? Another thing is, too, expectation. Not everyone in chat uses perfect grammar, I know. I couldn't believe it either. But... There are times where I'm just expecting... Like, fucked up sentences like I would type in a chat room. Okay. So that, those are my excuses for today. Hello. So, Hootie, what's our, um, I don't know if you want to go into... ...into, like, ballpark figures. But, uh, how do you feel about... ...talking about some kind of, like, um, estimate of how well we did for the charity stream? What do you think about frogs with facial hair? Excuse me? Last year, the, um... ...donation amount in direct donations was about 100k, something like that. And then with merch... Like, it was a little over 100k, and then with merch, we hit 137,000. But... ...this year, we surpassed that in both merch and direct donations. So... You know, we definitely are, like, well over 150k. So... And that's being, like, very, very, very... ...lowball. You wanna know about lowball? That's lowball. Have you ever considered growing a mustache like Maryip? Mayrip. So remember what I said before about perfect grammar? It's not just the grammar, it's also frogs with mustaches. Or sorry, frogs with facial hair and me growing a Mayrip mustache. It's very strange topics of discussion. Egg over there. My inventory is getting a little. My inventory is getting a little bit full. Um, one of the cool things about this game, maybe it won't be so cool later on, but I like the little item rearranging mini game thing. I've always, always had fun with that. about it for this location. Let's see. Alright, so this one... That door is closed. So now that's a permanent HP increase with the yellow herb. Yes, we say herb in America. And not herb. Sorry, Brits. But when I was in grade school, if you were a herb, you were, like, really uncool. If you were a sick herb, no one would talk to you. You, you would- the last thing you wanted to be was a sick herb. You know?
Come on, Leon, you can move it. You're strong, aren't you? I have to drop down over there. Vinny, please tell me more about the HD project. I just found out about it, and I'm going to recommend that you Google Resident Evil 4 HD project, and you'll get all the info, because I explained it a couple times. But I'll let the visuals do the talking. I think I'm good here. There's a- I know there's more blue medallions. There might be a couple. There might be a couple over here. Oh yeah, this is the beginning of QTEs, I forgot to tell you. If anyone's never played this and you hate QTEs, you can blame this game. You can invert the controls. I know. I'm good now. I got used to it. Kind of. I'll get more used to it in the next, like, half hour. Won't be a problem soon. Shit. <laughs> Thanks! I gotta do through a fucking stick of dynamo. Whoa! Where are you getting these things from? It's gonna explode in his hand. Yes! Remove spiders from all locations, please. Thank you. combat system is still as engaging. Oh, as it's ever been. Man, even this texture was upgraded. It's Ganado, not Ganado. Ganado? Monado blade? Cr Ganondorf? I'm gonna kill the Cronandos. That's it, they're just Cronandos from now on. Sorry, everybody. someone knocking but it's probably a trap and it's not worth it's not worth it trust me not worth it
Alright, so... Check this out. So you can combine certain items with this beer stein and other items to make it more valuable when you do eventually get to the point where you can buy stuff. The beer stein with all the cat's eyes in it equals very lot of money. Very lot. Decent. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks amazing, not really. But it looks way better than it did. Like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Got a smoke? You got a smoke? <laughs> got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? So cheesy. This game does such a good job at straddling the line between, let me finish my sentence, cheese and uh, unsettling. Queso, if you will. Let us give you our power. I'm unable to resist this intoxicating power. <clears throat> hey. Hey, wake up. Uh, so audio yeah, desynced. Yeah. yeah, it is. Crawl out of one hole. And into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you God to this it. part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Like a okay, cop for like a day. Let me guess. She's the president's daughter. <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. <laughs> And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. <laughs> Only for a day, though. How are you speaking when I your lips aren't there. moving properly, Leon? Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? 
I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. The boy will not die. Do something, cop! After you. Oh. Now. Right. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna put my controller down during the cutscenes, and bad things are gonna happen a lot. Sync is returned. Yeah, apparently the game isn't synced for 60 frames a second. Is that a, an Leon. HD project Sorry thing? Sorry, I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was. Uh, or was a bit the actual tired. version? You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male 60, civilian. The PC captive. version. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. The PC version had this problem. The one they sold. Really? Ugh. So how, how often does that happen? Oh man, Leon lost his jacket. Every time there's a cutscene. Why the fuck would Capcom not... <sighs> you have to set it to 60 in the main menu. Um, apparently you should do 30 because it helps with crashes. The game was never supposed to be in 60. Over here, stranger. All right. Well. Next time I stream this, I'll set it down to 30. Whatever. It, look, it was looking so good, too. I mean, visually, the 60 looks great. It's a shame. But... Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of... Good things on sale, stranger. So this is the merchant. His existence is never explained. He just has lots of weapons. And he's... that's him. Don't know if you've noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging in? Hanging around in the village? Come back when you've shot ten or more of them. Got a specialized gun I want you to try out. What are you buying? What are you selling? Dick. And you can upgrade. Welcome. What are you selling? So if I sell some spinals. Is that just, old strength? This is easy money. The, I can sell this. I don't. There's nothing I need to do with this, right? The beer stein I'm not going to sell, but the pearl pendant that's uh, easily sellable now. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what you have you buying? tune up. I can make my pistol more powerful. Firing speed, reload speed, capacity, that's always very useful shit. What, are you what I am going to buy, however, is the rifle. Is that old? Right, so rifle. <laughs> Thank you. And we're gonna get... Is that old, stranger? <laughs> Thank a bigger you. case. Is that old, get the, stranger? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I'm what not going to buy the rifle buying? scope just yet, but... Um, let's see, let's get a Is firepower upgrade <laughs> on the pistol. <laughs> Thank you. Later I'm going to get a better pistol, Come but for now... Anytime. 
For now, we'll stick with that. Leon and the merchant have the same voice actor. You know, I never fucking knew this. I missed medallions, right? Like, I missed them when I could have gotten them. Shit. And you get something even better. You get something even better when you have all of the uh, the, the medallions. They're marked in the map. Okay, so then I'll, I'll get them eventually. Let's see what's going on here with the map. Alright, so... Yeah, here they are. Okay. So, my plan is to get all of them before I do the merchant thing. I think he gives you a gun that starts upgraded if you get him all the medallions. Oof, them 30 frames a second with the rifle. dynamite a little too early. <laughs> oh. ah. Now's a good time to use this so I can get that HP increase as well as full HP. is a little loud. I mean, yeah, it is. This, yeah, it's just this part is excruciatingly loud to begin with. Oh, Leon. I like when the Ganados kill their own people. That's fun. Ganados? Is it? It's Ganados. It's Cranandos. Let me say it right next time. to do with that. Oh, man. Oh, I'm such a dope. I was like, oh, that'll never hit me. Also, the 60 frames a second is kind of fucking with my menuing a little bit as well. Jesus.
the amount of force applied did not equal the amount of force that dude's body flew away from me with. No, oh, get down! Get down. This music is painfully loud. Son of a bitch that I am. Oh, run, Leon! Run, Leon! <sighs> Holy God. Holy God. surprised I'm still alive after all of that, but all of my healing is now gone. It's really not great. So, I saw Beck, Thursday, Madison Square Garden. That was his first time there. He'd never played Madison Square Garden before. He got really emotional. Uh, he was great. He was- he was really, really good. I know, you know, not everybody is into that. Kanye def definitely doesn't like him. But, he was great. Started with Devil's Haircut, did new pollution, did some new stuff. Did so, uh, a whole acoustic section, got the dude from Spoon to go on stage with him. After he did the song Wow, which you might have heard this during the charity stream, but after the song Wow, he's like, can, can everybody say wow? So everyone said wow. He's like, can everybody say wow like Owen Wilson? And then everyone was just like, wow. Um, what else? He did a version of Where It's At that was awesome. Loser was incredible. Uh, fucking Devil's Haircut was the best. I- I couldn't help myself, I had to move around like an asshole. And so I did. 
And I realized something, like, I've been listening to this dude's music since 1995. This is one of... Like, this dude's music has been with me for 23 years of my life. I don't think there's another band I've seen, ever, that I have a similar story about. Like, I don't think I've listened to anybody as long as I've listened to him that I've actually seen live. Never saw Soundgarden live, never saw Alice in Chains live. Never saw Pearl Jam, for some reason. Obviously not Nirvana. Um, never saw Bowie live, but I only got into Bowie in the past, like, 12 years. Uh, I saw McCartney, but I, I listened to the Beatles probably when I was, like, 18, 19. I was listening to Beck when I was 10. So now the the game is actually getting kind of loud now. Um, I mean, it's meant to be loud, but this is a little ridiculous. Dynamite stayed lit way longer than I thought it would. Who got you into Beck? My aunt got me Odelay. And I knew the song, uh, New Pollution, where it's at. And Devil's Haircut from the radio. And I just, I liked it because that stuff, like, especially Devil's Haircut, that's like a rock. That's got a pretty cool fucking guitar riff. And I just really, really liked that album, and that wasn't at all what I was listening to at the time. I was listening to, like, like fucking 90s rock, alternative grunge. I was really young, so I didn't know what the fuck I was listening to. I just knew that I liked it. And, um... I think I like his acoustic stuff better than I like his dancier shit. But he did everything. And he ended with where it's at, and then he did like a little medley in between where he introduced everybody. His bassist is no joke. His bassist and his drummer are insane. Uh, let me just say, Beck's band is way better than I thought it would be. Like, it's... Everybody in that band is sick. Um... So I really enjoyed that, but then they- he introduced all the members, and, uh, they played their favorite, like, New York songs. Like, or songs from bands that were big in New York. So... At one point, they went into, uh, Once in a Lifetime by the Talking Heads. They did some... Television, New York Dolls, I think. It was cool. Yeah, it was just a really good show, and... And, I want to show you... So you saw, if you were, you know, watching my streams, you would know... ...that for the Radiohead show, I was on the very, very furthest back section you could get. It was... ...actually kind of shitty. So the Radiohead show, even though they sounded good, Tom York excuse me, looked like an ant. So I wasn't able to really get into it, but I have a funny story for the Beck show. I'm going to tell you, but I want to show you where I was. I know some of you don't care about this, but thank you for bearing with me and indulging me for a moment. This is how, I cl how close I was to the stage at Madison Square Garden. right there. It was on the floor. So I didn't have floor tickets. I had tickets for, like, a little bit further up. Turns out, a friend of mine was there, had general admission seats, or not seats, tickets for the floor. Called me and was like, Vin, do you want to go to Beck? I was like, I'm going to see Beck. 
So they were like, well, I have a ticket that no one claimed. So I said, all right, so that's cool. And I just went, I just went all the way and I said, fuck the seat. And I just, we were like all the way up front. It was really cool. A lot of people smonking pot again. I missed the thing, I know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where it is. I missed something in the fire. Oh, it's in the fire! Okay, hang on. Okay. There's a mask, but it's harder to get. Where is that? Break those boards in the window. Alright. Oh, here it is. Thanks. Hey, Vappy. Vappy, you might have to take a look at some of the earlier portions of the stream. Because... There were some crashes. There were some troubleshooting. There were some restarts. Why do you guys want to keep that in the video? It's like it slows down every... everything. Immersion. That's not a good enough reason. It was funny. Yeah, but think about how many people would be like, Oh man, I can't wait to watch Vinny's Resident Evil 4 stream. I'm so excited to check out this stream that he he's going to stream. Oh, he's, he's got a graphics mod. It looks really good. I'm excited to check this out. Crash. Oh. Crash. Oh. I mean, the more intrepid of my viewers will realize that they have a mouse that they can just, like, skip past that part. But I guarantee you there's gonna be a number of people that just stop watching because they're watching from their bed or whatever and, like, you know, it just auto-plays. So, I'd say at least three people are gonna just not watch the stream because of that. At least three. Maybe four. Yeah. Can't let the fish win, man. Uh, what am I doing with this? It's fucking massive. I can't sell it. Is it worth anything... decent? I forgot a lot of this stuff. It's been a couple years since I played the game. Good.
I mean, considering I don't have any other food at the moment, it's worth it. The black, uh, the bass sells for 2300 It's not bad. It's a little bit more than a spinal, which takes up zero room in the inventory, so I don't feel like I'm missing out too bad. I would think shooting the Brass Pocket Watch might make it worth less than letting it dip into scum for a brief moment that you can then clean off with, I don't know, leaves or, like, a rag or... But, you know, I don't, I don't really know about antiques and stuff. It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. I just will never understand why these Resident Evil villains lock their doors with shadow puppets and, like, color puzzles. Just get a key. See, now the volume is a little too low. And tabbing out takes way too much time. But I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. Okay, so now this looks great. There's a lot of improvement here. The textures being um, higher resolution really really pay off in this room in particular. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think that he'd keep them separate, not confine them together, as has been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that the third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, this, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment, as always. Isn't it nice to have a Lord that actually talks back? Like this Lord Sadler dude, this guy right here? You just call him up. You have a bit of a morality question? Just call him up. Really, Leon? I was hoping we could read all the books. This isn't Skyrim, you mean? Nuestro jefe se quedará de la casa. Si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra. Vinny, what you talk the religion. <laughs> This game gets very culty and religious, so expects a little bit more. Mm. 
You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Do you know that we ground up beavers and put it in your bloodstream? Yes. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. <laughs> I, I love that cutscene so much. Ada Wong with the camouflage. And that's a totally missable cutscene. You you would go through this whole game and not know that, that was there. If you just didn't turn around and click on the door. Latrine. Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Vinny, there's an Easter egg by the piss stain. By Otacon's piss stain. This must be a painting of that church. I hope Ashley's still okay. For those wondering where Mario and Rabbids are, as well as Hollow Knight, like, where are those two games? Over the next couple days, I mean, they're pretty much, you know, they're, they're winding down. So, I figured, uh, I was a little impatient to play Resident Evil 4. I started getting really fucking pumped for it, too. I was like, oh man, that HD version looks so fucking good, I gotta stream it. Um, after this, Res uh, Resident Evil. After this, Metal Gear Solid, the original. Let's see. When's the 20th? When is the 20th anniversary of Metal Gear Solid? When was Metal Gear Solid released? Date is September 3rd, 1998. September 3rd, 1998. Somewhere around there. We'll do it. 
Doesn't have to be on the day. Could be just before the day. Could be uh, maybe a month before so that I finish it on the day, but I want to stream the game the day of, at the very least. It's uh, a Metal Gear game that I haven't streamed. I'm not going to do the MSX versions, the originals, but I love Metal Gear Solid, and it's not on my full sauce channel. So, that'll be fun. And then Metal Gear Solid 2, eventually. You know we're gonna stream Spooptober. I have some spoof games in mind, but um, Silent Hill 2 is a definite. I have some surprises as well that I'm aware of, and some games that I have no idea what they're gonna be. There's the weird fucking sensitivity issue in the menus. See ya, fool. And that's what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. Are you out of shotgun ammo? No. I should have. I fucking should have used the shotgun. Where was that nade? The rifle reload animation is weird. Like, every reload animation is 60 frames a second, except the rifle. It's just so bizarre. I might- I, and again, I might only be streaming this 60 FPS for today. Because the- if anyone's just joining, 60 FPS fucks with the cutscenes. I forgot how many hits those dudes could take. The kneecaps should be, like, fucking shattered. There's no way you're gonna be able to stand back up! Anyway, for those worrying about, or worrying, or wondering, which is more like it, about my charity incentives. There will be one this week, one the week after, and one the week after that. I'm gonna do one incentive per week. 
starting with Galgun. Uh, so sometime this week we'll do the the Galgun stream, hour and a half. I kept my incentives very modest, but yet pretty, you know, for me, interesting. I think people are going to enjoy them, except Beverly Hills Cop, which no one's going to be able to enjoy. What are the final charity numbers? That's going to be a little bit harder to tally uh, right away because we still have to we still have to get the exact numbers from Ownage. So, in terms of uh, direct donations, it was like a hundred and twenty six or twenty seven thousand. So there was like a last minute five thousand dollar donation right at the end there, which was incredible. But in terms of sales, that's that's going to take a little longer to get that info. But it was good. It was very, very good sales. was available. Someone says you might get banned for Galgun. I double checked. It is not banned. There are people who did full streams of it. it has no nudity. Guys coming at you with a fucking sickle, right? All right. Before I do that, I can go back and get the um the things now, right? Medallions. I'm being very specific. Let me be more specific. just gonna do these medallions I'm gonna save and then I have to come back to this I know it's a shorter stream tonight like I said um, there's just a lot of art tonight and I have to be up sickeningly early tomorrow and I'm just the weekend was long so sorry everybody but I think tomorrow I'll return to my normal streaming schedule or, well, it's it's a loose schedule. It's not one that's written in stone, but it's it's enough of one that you can kind of expect it in a general sense. Let's 
So there's one... There's one over here somewhere. I hope you had the time of your life this weekend. Another ten employed a fox stuck in the road. Like that? That kind of time of your life? Yes. Another turn point. A Borg stuck in the road. <laughs> when are we gonna make a Vine Borglar emote? You know, there have been some attempts, and they've been gloriously shitty in the same way Vine Pisses is, is shitty. But I've been hesitant to make it official, because I kind of like the fact that it is the shittiest thing in the world. And I feel like making it official would encourage me to do it more, and encourage more to do it more, and others. So, I don't know, I, I've been hesitant about it. I, I don't want to encourage that kind of behavior. <laughs> Bob posting is strictly prohibited here on Vine Sauce. Apparently, piss posting is just fine, though. Got some priority stuff I need to work out. Okay, now that we're this far, and I managed to save... It seems like the crash issue has been resolved, so thank you for everyone that helped me turn off tablet. Uh... I hope the crashing just doesn't happen anymore. That would be fantastic. The tablet shit also crashes old Skyrim after 15 minutes. Oh, so this is a common problem. But hey, Resident Evil is still awesome, it looks better than ever, and I'm loving it. So, let's continue it sometime this week. Um, I think tomorrow I'll probably do Mario Rabbids plus Hollow Knight, so stay tuned for that, and I'll let you know when Galgun takes over the stream. Until then, you know, the charity stream was a big success, but one of the things I didn't get to do was check out the art. There is a lot of art made for the charity stream. Some for me, some for all the other streamers, and I'm, I'm just gonna check out the stuff that d relates directly to me just to save myself some time. But... Hang on. Okay, the page is loading a little slow. One second, guys. Yeah, there's a ton of it. Okay, where did I leave off? Um, there is the, um... Gungeon stream. Okay, here we go. Rock Dwayneson made this. 
not a thwomp? It's a thwomp. I think that's from my Gungeon stream. From Toaster G. Screaming Vine Shroom. There's so much art that I may not be able to spend the amount of time I normally do on the art. So please um, understand. Please understand. I love it. I'm going to try my best to enjoy all of it, but I'm going to go through it a little bit more quickly. Uh, Obot made this one. Is it like cursed fan art of dildos? Dildo drumming? From Ray Skids. Jump on me now, motherfucker. There's a link. Okay. Yeah, I've played that version on stream. From Charge Then Lance. Oh, you. The cream. Gonna rise to the top. Some vine wrestle for you. From Snoop Bird. That's pretty cool. You know. I can turn my air conditioner off. So that way it doesn't get as crusty. But, uh, nice work on this. Little did they know that I'd be, um, killing griffins not too long after this. This was before that. Here's one from Flow Me. And this is from... This is Kirby. It's, it's Kirby art. Look, it's Kirby, everybody. And King DDD. Do you see him? He's got nipples. Here's one from <laughs> Mebulas or Mebulas. It's really great. It's uh, everyone in plushy form. That's cool. Man, that, that's really nicely done. Paro Nintendo made this April 20th, day one. Is this like... What? It's nice, thanks. New Curb stuff drops this Friday. Uh, maybe I'll take a look at it. Master Lemon made Reggie's Angels. Awesome. Graniland Dreamer made this. Helping others playing everything. So again, there's some stuff in preparation for the charity stream or art for the charity stream day one. So it might be slightly outdated, but that's okay. Spo Tulip made this. Also great PCRF work. When are you going to stream the RPG Maker games? Uh, sometime in the next three weeks. So every week I'm going to do a new incentive. One incentive per week. So look forward to embarrassing RPGs. Uh, nice job, Spotulip. Unclear made a buff scoot from Vine Wrestle. Massive. From Jarvis the King 64, another massive scoot. With some Vine Sauces Hope theming. From Lab Coat Sai. It's a little vine shroom. Particularly crusty. This one's from Suznik the Cuckold. That name, that's Vine Wrestle. Uh, from Chromatic Aberrations, our very own Chromatic Aberrations. Here's a pretty cool watercolor Vine Sauce's Hope. Very effective. Good job, Chromatic. I like it. Salmiaki made this. This was the repainted day one. Me being in hell. <laughs> I was certainly in hell. Most of the weekend was some form of hell. Um, in terms of what I was streaming, at least. Uh, this one's from Flow Me. Rabbit Ker Kerby Dong. Fake Peach Rabbit tro Vine Shroom. Some cool characters you got there. Freya Fenris made some PCRF art. Very cool. I like that scene.
Chase 64 made arms and knuckles. <laughs> yeah, from the Ocarina of Time repainted. Uh, this one's from Master Lemon. Thank you. I don't know who these characters... Oh, Galgun characters, I guess, yeah. Don't, don't thank me. Thank the uh, chat for unlocking it. Zorakis made this. It's a Game Boy, a Vine Sauce themed Game Boy with the hat and everything. How did I recognize it so fast? It was tagged as Galgun too. Yeah. From Ayu. Here's Vine Sauce's Hope. Start now. Cross now. Cross now. Cross now. Stop. Stop. Here's one from Boba Mariku. Boba Mariku. Also, Vine Sauce's Hope. Shroom. Good job. Uh, you will never guess my URL. Oh. oh. Vinny the Mallard. This is my Sonic OC, everybody. Look on him. Also, BRB version. Trippin' Bat made this. Vine Sauce is Hope. Is that one anything specific? I'm not sure, but I like it. Uh, Vine Shroom is a magical girl. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's not a specific thing, but it's, I guess, magical girls are things that exists in fiction. Maybe we'll be seeing some of those for Galgun. From Fuzzy, here's uh, Vine Shroom and Toad for the Vine Sauce is Hope charity stream. Nice work here with the colors. Nice work with the whole thing. Hot damn. It's very nice. Uh, let's load up some more art. Excuse me? Nope. Is it a ghost? Was it an anime ghost? Here's one from Fuzzy as well. It's the BRB version. <laughs> Green Needle. Uh, this one's from Salmiaki, and it's me building a sausage fort. Okay, now this did happen. This actually did happen. Someone said that sounded exactly like the NG's nope. It was. Uh, yeah, I actually did build a motherfucking uh, sausage fort while we were playing Gmod. Or we, yeah, it, I don't it didn't stay up very long, and it was rather shitty. But I enjoyed it more than the prop hunt. Now, don't get me wrong, prop hunt is fun. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I kind of liked the Call of Duty World War II prop hunt a little bit better. It felt a little bit more dynamic, and the props had more of a fighting chance, and it, it was quicker. I don't know. Um, but it was still, still a lot of fun. This one's from Alex Oh Yeah, and it's Desert P taking a piss. Why is this tagged as Vinny? <laughs> Trying to figure that part out. Don't lizards just like leak pee through their flesh? This one's from Matcha. I know they don't leak pee through their flesh. I trust me, I'm I'm a little dumb, but I'm not that dumb. This one's from Matcha. And, uh... Nice work, Matcha. Spooky cum. <laughs> Made art for the deer cult. I, I guess I'm being tagged in this because I was followed around by the deer cult people for a little while there. You know?
That's my best guess. This one's from the best chat man, Bonzi Kong. Yeah, my house is, I got anime ghosts. Someone send a priest. The best chat man, nice work. This is tagged as Vinny for some reason. Uh, I, I think it's tagged as Joel and Vinny. I'm not really sure why I'm... Um, I'm getting really memed on hard here. But I also think that maybe we're the same people. Karus Karutler made this. Wow. Very interesting. Fredolin made this. Does anyone know where I can contact the Pope? Does anyone have the number for the Pope? Is that your phone? No, no, that's, that's, um, I think my house is haunted. Is what it is. <laughs> Great work, Fredolin. I like that I'm the pizza ninja. Here's one from Boba Maruku. And it's, yeah... Good luck streaming Galgun too, Vinny, and once again, I'm really sorry. It's for a good cause. Remember, it's for charity. Glory to Snowstar made this. Oh, you put this in Splatoon? Oh, cool. Awesome. Charge Then Lance made this. Damn, nice work. Shit, really great. Hang on a sec. Next one is from Sheeb Meat and Motion Activated Gaming Console. Oh, right, yeah, that did happen. I was playing Arkanoid with Capri Sun. I almost forgot that that happened. Um, the Jeeb. Jeeb. That's what. That's what. Jeeb. That is the sad Vinny picture that people like so much. And uh, man, you fucking. You nailed it. Good job. Bloody bacon. Koso you, Douglas? Thank you, Bloody Bacon. Elvin King 42 made the pizza ninja. Awesome. When I saw that there was a fruit ninja clone, you know, while I was doing preliminary testing just to make sure everything worked, I said to myself, what would be a fun object to actually cut the fruit with? I know. Pizza cutter. Perfect. So great work on this one. Um, Bombses, Bombsies made this. Now I'm going to assume, oh, that's a 3DS theme based on the Vine Sauce's Hope art. Okay. Nice. Celestic made this Mario's Pissing. Here's one from Meej. Mind Sauce's Hope 2018. Nice work. It's really great. Flow Me made this. Diggly Kong. Oh, okay then. 
Master Lemon made this. It's Fruit Ninja again. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. <laughs> uh, then you have this one from Cryptid Kitten. Good job, Cryptid. I rock you. But yeah, that was a whole fucking shock for me. Um, I'm also going to have to split the art segment in two, I'm sorry to say. Because I actually... Yeah, I want to get going. Sorry, everybody. Um, there's just so much of it. But I'm going to give you a little bit more art, and that way I can start fresh. This one's from Putuk. Vine Sauce is Hope. Oh, nice. Is that like a skeletal toad? Maybe. The Static Artist made this. I saw this one. This one's really cool, too. This is all custom plushy. Good job. Um, and this one's from XO Yes So. XO Yes Eos. Zoxios. Maybe. Um, this was also a thing that happened in Plug and Plague. The, you select your character, Satan. <laughs> Bun time crocheted a little, uh, or knitted, excuse me, knit, knitted, knit. A little vine sauce is Hope Shroom. I like it. It's very cute. Cool. Uh, Cheeky Minato's made Hootie. And Captain Vine Toad. For the charity stream. Also really great work. Here's a cap of bullet from Pickled Sausage Man. The bullet that can kill the internet. <laughs> Fine Ryzen. Good job. Flow Me made this BRB, which I used during the charity stream. L love it. That's why I used it. Ona's X1 made this of me. And then you have um, this one from Moth Pebbles. And that's cool. This one's cool. This one's cool too. So, some vine sauces, hope art. And then you have, finally, for tonight, KJOS316 made this incredible 3D Hollow Knight art. So, holy goddamn, that is impressive shit. I love it. Uh, good fucking job, artists. I will finish up the rest of the art probably tomorrow, so I'll plan for it, and um, two pages left, and then probably another one from tomorrow, but KJOS, really great, everyone really great, thank you for your time, thank you for making art for the charity stream, uh, I can't thank you all enough for once again joining us for the charity stream, and for um, making so many good things happen this weekend. It was really a pleasure to stream for you all. Now, tonight was fun too. Resident Evil 4 started off a little rocky, but then it ended up great. So expect more. And like I said, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll talk about more stuff. Uh, check out some other Vinesaw streamers. I know I'm ending a little bit early tonight, but maybe some other people are streaming. Let's see. Dyer is streaming. Fred streaming. Yeah, so you can go to twitch.tv slash team slash Vinesauce or Vinesauce.com and you can check them out there or you can wait for the auto host, which will take you to a streamer that you may have seen during the charity stream. So, um, yeah, check it out. And like I said, just because the charity stream is over doesn't mean, and I don't think I have said this actually, but it doesn't mean you can't still watch some other cool streamers. See you guys. Thanks, mods. Thank you, everybody. Catch you tomorrow.